live music in an airport before. Brownie points! Buenos dias! Today we are going to Colombia. Flying to Colombia from Guatemala City in uh, Guatemala, of course. Um, our final day after almost five weeks in Guatemala. First we are going to go to Panama City. We're going to meet up with a friend who's going to travel with us to Colombia. Um, then we're going to fly to Medellin in Colombia. Relax. We're pretty early this morning to make sure that we're here on time. Super early. So we have some time to edit our videos because we're a bit behind on editing like always. So. Anyway, we're gonna look for a place where we I can feel, sit I and feel work a bit. I feel obligated to tell you that you're gonna fall over this rope right here if you continue. Good point, good point. <laughs> I should have just let him go. It would have been funnier. If he wasn't carrying the camera, I wouldn't have told him. We're flying with Copa Airways or something, I think. This is Guatemala City Airport, it's called La Aurora, and apparently it was seriously upgraded a few years ago to meet modern standards. Apparently modern standards do not yet include elevators. Actually there are elevators right there. Oh no. Where? Oh Drag like you mean it. Time for some editing. So we have some traditional airport food. Big Mac with french fries. So this is what they call the Big Mac here. Tiny. I don't even want to know what a small Mac is. <laughs> we got safety through security check and the immigration check, so we're now at, uh, going to the boarding gates. Can you imagine buying something like this here and then having to take it onto the plane? <laughs> it could not be happier with this seat. We have an emergency L seat, so we have so much space. It is a brand new plane, or so it seems. Well, maybe you want a plane that's broken in a little bit, so you know that there are no errors that can cause it to... Wait, is this a Boeing 787 Max? It's not funny. <laughs> and the best part, even though this is only a two-hour flight, we have screens! In other news, I almost got a heart attack just about an hour ago because apparently Colombia is one of the countries that sometimes asks for proof of onward travel uh, when you're at immigration trying to get into the country. And of course, um, since we're traveling to Brazil over land, we don't have like an airline ticket that says we're going to leave the country. If this happens to you, take your precautions. You have a few options here. Either you book like a real ticket back, you look for a cheap ticket, or you can also rent a ticket or buy a ticket and then cancel it later on, um, which is probably a good option as well, so it depends a little bit on your situation, but keep that in mind in the back of your head if you don't want to be standing at immigration when you arrive, like, what do you mean you won't let me in? Bye, Guatemala! to catch our next flight so hopefully we will make it. Clock is ticking. 50 minutes. It's really hot here. We had a really good flight. Yeah we had a really good flight uh, and it was very comfortable for any rare plane. Yeah. But now we gotta run we gotta make a plane. And Let's pick go. up a small package along the way. So many people here. Okay, we figured out which gate we need. I think it's on the other side of the airport, so I think we'll need to hurry up a bit. Hi, hi. So, we picked up a small package at the airport. It's sitting 10 rows behind us. Yeah, Natalie yeah, yeah. is on board. Yep. I'm not sure if I have enough leg room here. It's a bit tight today, you know. It's like just got into the just got into the second flight, and it's it's almost delirious how much leg room he has here. I have never.
never seen anything like this. Especially when I also have an emergency exit seat and this is what I get. I mean, it's good, I'm not complaining, but it's not that good. Yeah, you know, sometimes I gotta take one for the team. Malaysian, here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rodeiro de Lopez. Bienvenidos a Colombia, we are finally here. Made it through immigration and just so you know about the discussion of the onward travel, whether or not you need to be able to prove that you have a ticket out of Colombia uh, when you come in and you go to see the immigration officer, I didn't ask about it. I think it's only the airline that does it because in principle, if you come here and immigration says you don't have the proof you have to go back, then um, the cost of your return flight is on the airline and they have to pay fines as well. So that's why they're very strict with it and that's why they check it. But mostly immigration officers don't really care about it that much. Um, but still it's better to have one. Yeah, let me into the country. Quickly, let's go before they find out. Mm -hmm.